Hey guys, I wanted to film this Lush haul finally. I completely forgot that I had this bag of stuff to show you with the holidays and the other videos that I had planned. So better late than never. I've had this stuff for a while. Some of the stuff I've already used, which is kind of good because I can tell you my thoughts on it. It's not too much stuff, but it is kind of interesting and I'm very opinionated on some of the things that I have. So the first thing I'll talk about, bag's really noisy. talk about is the new solid shampoo it's not actually new it's new to me but it's called new are you confused yet? I pulled up the website here so I can kind of inform you of something I'm not entirely sure of but this is a solid shampoo I feel like I might have talked about this in a video before it smells like big red it's cinnamon and cloves and it's supposed to be really good for your scalp really hydrating it's supposed to kind of rejuvenate your scalp it's actually good for really thinning or fine hair. I had this on my list to get back when I was like three months postpartum and started noticing such hair loss. A lot of people recommended this. I still wanted to try it because it's supposed to like thicken and make your hair full and I have been so impressed with this. It is an incredibly clarifying shampoo. I don't use it every single day. I maybe use it once a week. I only really wash my hair twice a week, but I do not use this every single wash because it is so intense and it really gets all the grime out of your hair. I love how it suds. I love that it's really travel friendly. I had one of these little shampoo tins, but you can purchase them in store and it's the easiest thing. You just kind of wet your hair and you just rub it on your hair a little bit. It suds instantly. It builds up suds. It does contain some sulfate um, to actually make it foam, but I've said it in previous videos, I've kind of been enjoying using some sulfates again. I know that they can be drying and harsh, and in the past I would avoid them like the plague, but because I've been using a little bit more hair products, especially hairspray, because I wear my hair with curls so much, I feel like I kind of need the sulfates to really clean my hair really well. So I really love that. I'm a new fan of solid shampoos in general. I didn't think they would be anything great. I really wasn't a huge fan of the solid conditioners, so I was a little bit uh, about that, but I'm super glad that I've tried it. And the other one that I got is called Godiva. It's a two-in-one jasmine shampoo with conditioning butters, which is why I chose this one. This one is not as harsh as the new as far as being a clarifying shampoo. I think this is more for an everyday hydrating shampoo. I haven't actually tried this one yet because I've been using between the new and trying to use up the other shampoo that I have in my bathroom, but it is a two-in-one shampoo bar. It cleans and conditions your hair with moisturizing nut oils and shea butter. Blah, 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 blah. Helps your hair be really shiny and glossy. Smells good. I wouldn't say it smells great. I like the smell of the new um, shampoo better. This is a really strong scent of jasmine, but I'm really happy to finish my, my normal shampoo that I use and switch to that one. So that's Godiva. I also picked up this Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease. It's a hair mask. I've never really tried hair masks before other than coconut oil. And I've used this only once. And what you do is you put it on your hair while it's dry before you get in the shower. It's a pre-wash treatment. And you put it on, you basically saturate your whole hair in it, and then you shampoo it and condition your hair normal and it's supposed to make your hair really fluffy and full and voluminous. Um, it's calms and smooths shine and it says on here not to mention smelling irresistibly sexy. The smell when I smelled it in store I wasn't like woohoo that smells amazing. I was very like nah, and I told the sales associate that and she assured me up down and sideways that I would get used to it and fall in love with it, but I gotta say, only after using it the one time, it is a scent that lingers in your hair, even after you rinse it out. Like, I would pick up this scent in my hair until I washed my hair again. I feel like the second wash, I really got it out, but I'm not crazy about this smell. I'll continue to use it because, on the other hand, I did notice a huge difference in just how soft and fluffy, not fluffy frizzy, but like just like bouncy and soft my hair was. I noticed a huge difference, kind of like when I used the coconut oil, but the smell and with it lingering, it was just like, ugh, it was very, very strong, almost to the point where I wanted to wash my hair sooner than I had to just to get the smell out. But I feel like a lot of people might really enjoy this scent. I would just smell it in store before you order it blindly online. That's just my personal opinion. This next thing's probably my favorite thing that I purchased in the store that day. It's the new Charity Pot Body Lotion. Typically, I, t I pick up the Dream Cream, which is a really great hydrating body 
moisturizer. But this one goes for a really good cause. It smells very light. It's actually, I think, a better smell than the Dream Cream. And if you've smelled Dream Cream, you know that even that lotion is a very light, soft scent. This one is a little bit more feminine. It has a little bit more of a floral fragrance. It's, it's a very like delicate, almost perfumey scent that lingers on your skin. And I actually really like this scent. With every purchase of this, they donate 100% of the price to small grassroots organizations work. So I just thought between the two, I might as well help out a good cause and I got this one. And on top of it smelling really nice, it is very, very hydrating, which is great for this brutal weather we've been having. Okay, one product that I am just, ugh, ugh, are these Breath of God Toothy Tabs. And these are essentially little uh, individual portions of toothpaste. They're little tab, they're little tablets. They look like mints. And you basically, oh, I can't even talk about it. It's like, you put it in your mouth before you're gonna brush your teeth, you bite it, or you could bite off a piece, and you basically just start brushing your teeth with your toothbrush, and it foams and suds like normal toothpaste does, and it's supposed to be really like fresh breath, and for me, it was a texture thing. I could not, it tasted like chalk. It was very like, it was just hard to, it was just hard. It was just really hard to get past the texture of it. On top of that, I don't feel like it really left us, you know, a really fresh feeling in my mouth like normal toothpaste does. So I literally only used one of those and I'm probably gonna chuck these in the garbage, but I wanted to let you guys know first. I would be curious to know if anybody does like these. Leave it in the comments below. Maybe I'm the odd man out. Maybe I'm like the only person that doesn't, but I just, oh, it was just bad. And the last thing that I got was this solid deodorant, which I've been wanting to try for a very long time. And I believe they have a few in store. They have like powder deodorants. It almost looks like baking powder and then they have these solid ones and a couple people recommended this to me when I back when I was talking about wanting to switch to more natural products and this one's Teo it's called and you basically just rub it on rub it on as deodorant and it smells awesome which is why I went with this one over the other ones but I don't feel like it really did the job I feel like it was a powdery mess a little bit it definitely absorbed sweat I mean the winter so I'm not like outside in really hot weather to really give it a good test but I don't feel like it kept me fresh throughout the day like smelling fresh throughout the day I feel like it did absorb any kind of perspiration I don't really sweat throughout the day unless I'm like at the gym but I just know that I wouldn't wear this I wouldn't use this before I went to work out at the gym because I feel like it would just <laughs> not be effective at all. I feel like it definitely absorbs sweat, but as far as it like keeping you smelling good, not so much. So that's kind of a bummer. I actually just saw that the Honest Company released a deodorant, so I'm going to try that in my next month's bundle because I still have been really looking for a more natural alternative, hence why I got the tooth tabs. I wanted, I want to find like a better better for you deodorant and toothpaste. It's just, they're really hard to find. I feel like you kind of compromise on one thing when you give up all the chemicals and parabens and crap that are in deodorant and toothpaste, you end up compromising on something else. And I just haven't found like a really good natural alternative to toothpaste and deodorant that does what it's supposed to do that is as good as the not so good for you stuff, if that makes sense. So if you guys have recommendations as far as like a more natural toothpaste or deodorant, definitely leave them in the comments below. My mission is incomplete. I'm still searching, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this little haul. If you've picked up anything from Lush lately or any new products from them, let me know. I know their Valentine stuff is coming out really soon. I still have a whole bunch of stuff from last Christmas after sale that I need to get through, but I love the store and it just, it's like overwhelming when I go in there, so I really try to be good and just narrow down some new products that I wanted to try. I'm super, super happy with the solid shampoos, and I love the Charity Pot. It smells wonderful. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And there you have it. It's so